Okay, so let's have a look finally at the uh, prune state. So this is an interesting one because uh, the only animation I could find was the standing up animation. Uh, and also the character uh, is kind of hovering off the ground. Um, so but if we note here on the rate scale, uh, if we turn that to minus one, a common uh, game development technique is just if you want to flip something one way to an opposite direction, uh, then minus one it. Um, it's quite useful for just flipping values or inversing 3D models or that type of thing. So I've, uh, I believe um, I have made, that's the standing up. Uh, so we're going to prune. So uh, this was originally designed for a shooting game. Um, but uh, so you wouldn't really normally need a prune um, in a game unless you were uh, you were utilizing it for um, a Call of Duty type scenario. Uh, okay, so what we're we doing here? So it's a standing jump to stand up, fall down. Okay, so I've called that stand up, fall down at the minute. I think that is uh, the prone to floor I'm just trying to confuse myself I think I'm going to rename that in a minute God alone knows I hope so okay so we're going to the prone idle um, which quite interesting to see how the animation blends between uh, the the stand to prune. We're going to find out. Okay. So I need to stand up, fall down. This is what I've realised that I also need a stand up and a fall down. So to avoid confusion. Yeah. That's a standy uppy, and the other one's a fall to prune. Okay. Let's rename these. So that's stand to prune. Rename. Ah oh dear. Fourteen minutes. Have fun. So, um, although uh, setting up these blend states and uh, blend trees or whatever you want to call them, state machines, um, is relatively time consuming uh, and tedious, it is quite useful to learn and understand these systems as I've mentioned previously they are uh, utilized in the majority of games and gives you the tools to actually create your own move sets which obviously um, is hugely useful depending on the type of game that you're creating you can't always just rely on out of the box uh, move sets you're almost always going to need some other element in there uh, so which is also why I'm showing you how to use Link these and Mixamo so that you've got access to your own animations without having to uh, root around relying on um, asset packs. Okay so shutting up I shall talk about we're going from the standing jump to the prone which is quite weird uh, so I've renamed it stand to prone so I don't know why you want to go from a standing jump to a prone. Seems quite odd. I was under the assumption that should probably just be idle to prone, but I shall stick with it. Okay, so uh, standing jump to prone. Let's have a look here what we are looking at. So, get his prone. Are we prone? Ok, 
can't enter transition seems to make sense standing jump to prone if you're pressing prone you can enter prone from a standing jump okay that does make sense uh, and let's have a look at the moving from the uh, the prone to the link prone idle So obviously we don't want to move, we only need one transition state from stand to prone to link prone idle because we don't want to go from link prone to stand to prone otherwise um, it's going to flick back into a standing position so uh, we need to, we've now organised the standing position so we can go from link prone idle to prone to stand. So where am I going with this? Okay. So it's going directly back into the idle. Okay. So the transition state has disappeared. So uh, that seems to be a minor bug. So you just I just swing the window around until it reappears. So we'll stand to prone to prone idle. Um, Okay, so I've just uh, if we just click on the actual transition state and we take the duration down to zero there, that means that the um, it just snaps into that state, um, which might be why it looks really weird in the finished product. But we shall uh, have a fiddle with that later. That's perhaps something to have a look at after the uh, tutorial has ended. Although you may want to day off from blend trees. Our okey doke. So what we're looking for now, what we're talking about, prone to idle. Okay. So stand to prone, stand to prone to link prone. Okay. So that's just the basic rule here is that it's just making sure that we're finishing the animation before it transitions. Less than or equal to point one. So if it's just reached the end of the animation, then you can enter the transition. Okay, so I've got an AND state here. The tension is killing me. What's it going to be? It's a IS PRONE. Fantastic. IS equal to... Hmm. Okay. Slightly odd. Okay, so I've got two more states to uh, fulfill. So let's just keep going. Almost there. So prone idle to prone to stand. Okay. So yeah, it's the character prone. No, the character. If the character is not prone, you can enter the transition. Okay, not prone pressed. You can enter the transition. Not prone pressed. Okay, it's been a long day. Uh, right, what we've got now prone to stand to link. Okay. Taking that duration down again so that uh, it just snaps straight into that. And let's just finalise that. Oh. Okay. So, again, just checking the animation is almost finished. Greater than point 0.1. Okay. Let's have it equal to zero. So I'm moving fast now. Not fast enough, some may say. Okay. Right. So is prone it equals 
is it prune is true yeah okay right that's just about everything so starting to prune Right, I think I just realised that needs to go to to the um, idle as opposed to the. Okay, so I'm just going to set that up. So using the powers of video, I'm going to skip forward there. So we're doing stand to prone to link prone. So that's just correcting a mistake uh, I made earlier. Okay, so that's the finished uh, blend tree, so um, that's what it should look like. Uh, I think that's pretty much organised the same as the official documentation. So let's just have a run of it, I believe, just to... Okay, so... Not sure why I'm looking at the standing up animation again. Okay, so let's just run it. Okay, so first of all, um, I just want to make sure that uh, I'm looking for world settings, thank you. Uh, character game mode, yes, and the default pawn class is uh, the elf character. Don't need to fiddle about with any of that, that's the two things that I need. No, nope, that's all fine. So it's just the game mode override needs to be character game mode, and the default pawn class needs to be elf character. Uh, and then if we just run that. Okay, so we will note that there's a lot of sliding going on. Goes, goes forward, goes backwards. Uh, and we've got some general, yeah, so we've got sliding and we've got some general issues. So the final video is going to be just me fixing things. Okay, bye bye.